hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sa and i'm back with some spicy gist if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on your bell icon to get notifications on my new videos give this video a thumbs up and don't forget your thoughts will be needed in the comment section so over to the gist of the day chelsea are off to instable for the second time in three years and the third time in history it will be an all-English affair in the Champions League final. Two taps in for Timo Werner and Mason Mount do the damage at Stamford Bridge. But really, Chelsea could have done without them in the end. They are added to their third ever Champions League final, where Manchester City awaits. Two years on from Liverpool and Tottenham's encounter, it's going to be two Premier League teams once more in the showpiece fixture of Europe's biggest club competition. In Manchester City, Chelsea faced an opponent for whom the stars seem to have finally aligned, but having denied them a prospective cardrop in FA club already this term, the Blues will know that they can unlock Pep Guardiola's men. A dress rehearsal awaits almost immediately, in fact, in the shape of a top flight clash this weekend, where City could be crowned Premier League champion. Congratulations to all Chelsea fans out there. Afrobeat singer David Doa Deleke laments regarding the situation in the country as he blames it entirely on the current administration. This is coming after Obio spent a couple of weeks in Nigeria following his last return to Nigeria from the United States of America. Taken to Twitter before hopping on his private jet, Davido condemned any of the current administration's supporters as he insists that the airship is not different from being in hellfire. In his words, God, how did it get to this man? Anybody supporting this government supposed go air fire or lie. It's not even ridiculous. No, it's disgusting and evil. Country don't choke, you don't read so they even themselves won't run. Entertainment saves Nigeria. Here is the video. Um, uh, Nigeria is not easy. Even myself, I'm looking for a free ticket to run away. A group of young men suspected to be Yahoo boys dressed in black robes and red a tie spotted walking in the streets of Aoji, a do state in broad daylight. It would be recorded some weeks ago in same Aoji, some final year students walk the streets of the city, spraying cash in the air. In a video making rounds on social media, Young guys in their mid-twenties are seen in hooded robes with their arms folded behind their backs as they march along the streets in an occultic formation. This, however, caused raised eyebrows in the city as residents suspect a fetish gathering of this group. Here is the video. <laughs> Boys are no longer smiling this period, so please let's all be careful who we collect money from and who we angered with. And over to the last news of the day, popular Nigerian actor Frederick Leonard has caused some sort of confusion in the internet space as his alleged marriage certificate hits the internet. The 44 year old actor, who everyone supposedly thought was single, is said to have secretly gotten married. On the 24th of September 2020. According to the marriage certificate circulating online, Frederick Leonard married a mystery woman on the 24th of September 2020 with only one witness, one Mr. Kelvin. The wedding certificate was uploaded on Instagram by an anonymous blogger, Cutie Jules. The post has caused an opera on social media as it gets diverse reactions, while others say it could be a fake marriage certificate to get a project done or present to an embassy 
Others insist that Frederick is too much of a gentleman to lie about his relationship status. So guys, what do you think about this? Do you think it's true or he's lying about his relationship status? Anyway guys, that will be all for now. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on your bell icon to get notifications on my new videos. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget your thoughts will be needed in the comment section. Thank you very much.